Look at that, Rachel. This is Haku all winter. <laughs> he just climbs on top of another cat somewhere. And use that as suffocates a them with love. Holding pillow. <laughs> Look at Pookie's face. Oh, we're gonna build lots of cool stuff for you guys. Today we thought it would be fun to show you some of the options that you can get from Japanese housing makers here for building your house around your cats. They do stuff for dogs too, but we don't have a dog yet. I don't think we've showed you guys a 3D rendering of our floor plan yet. This is an older version, so the final product isn't gonna look exactly like this. And some of the options they have here, like this cat walkway up here is actually gonna be the windowsill itself. It's not gonna be sticking out like wood like this. It has already like this length window already so mm -hmm. why not make it longer for the cast to walk around yeah and then as a DIY after we move in I do want to put a little bit of like a fence a lip kind or of thing. A wall up or something so yeah. they don't slip our living room is gonna have a fukinuke that's what it's called in Japanese where it's open air to the second floor we wanted to get like a lots of light and make it bright yeah and because we do not we're not paying for the floor for this part it's actually a lot cheaper Mm. instead of building the uh, room above the this living room. The base price for the house is like by floor. There's a certain amount you have to pay per... Is it by tatami or is it by square meter? What? Either way. <laughs> and like we've mentioned before, we're gonna have a lot of like privacy in nature and stuff so it'll be really enjoyable. But also we want kind of like a jungle gym for our cats, a place that they can exercise and have fun and climb a lot. We want them to go up and down, exercise a lot. Yeah, like a vertical climbing is a really good form of exercise for cats. Yep. So we're gonna have a spot for them to climb up in both corners so that they can like climb from the first floor to the second floor. And they'll also be able to walk all the way along the second floor windows. Oh my gosh, look at them. <laughs> They're so cute. And finally fell asleep together. In the beginning we put the climbing pole over on this side, but then obviously you can see it's blocking the door. So we decided to move the climbing pole over to this side. And the other side is just going to be shelves where they can like jump up along the wall. The climbing pole, our housing maker is going to install for us. So it's going to be like built into the house and very sturdy. And all we'll have to do is just like rewrap it with sisal rope every now and then when our cats scratch through it. Like that one. Yeah. And then um, this is not the design that we're going with. It was just kind of an example, but we'll have cat shelves all the way along in between both floors. And then over here, heading off to the right is a catwalk that will be going in between the kitchen and the dining room. And again, I'm going to DIY something so that the cats have no way to jump down. By the way, the kitchen. this is the one I drew, which looks really weird and like crappy, uh, but this the one that they drew for us by professional. Yeah, we spent a long time here, like measuring out heights and how much room our cats will need to like comfortably walk and jump and like making sure there's no way they can slip. <laughs> this is kind of one of the last steps for our house. So we'll have a long time to work out the exact design that we want here but this is just kind of one of the earlier plans that we had. It was quite impressive that he drew this like upside down. Here on the second floor, you can see we have part of a normal wall and it'll have a hole in it so the cats can walk through. This is one of the books from our housing maker and you can see some of the cat stuff that they've built before. So they have like um, beams that the cats can walk across. This is one of the cat climbing poles that they did. They also have a type like this, but we don't want one like this. There's a lot of customization we can do with our housing company. So some of these things, it's not like it's specifically for cats or dogs, but these are things they can do with like the way that they build houses. So this is an example of, um, I guess the top frame of the window that they've extended for cats to walk across. Look at that, isn't that cute? So I guess this is kind of what they're gonna be doing with the bottom windowsill of our second story windows. Here are examples of like some of the cat doors or walkways through rooms that they can make. This one's pretty cool. It's like a cat hole in a wall that comes out onto a second story here. So I guess this is kind of what it's gonna look like 
um, with the hole in the wall for our Fukinuke area. Yeah. Bye. This part, I think. Mm. They also have options for smell or like little windows that cats can look out or safety bars like this. If you want to see some of the dog stuff as well, real quick, um, these like little foot washing slash pet washing stations are super common in a lot of places here in Japan now. Uh, like you can even get apartment buildings or um, mansion, which are con basically like high rise condos. Uh, a lot of those have things like this now. This one I thought was pretty cool too. It's like a pantry, but the bottom part is cut out so you can like feed your dogs or put a litter box in there or something. And it's just the top that's storage. Because space is so limited in Japan, they really have to be creative about finding ways to integrate every family member of your house into the limited rooms that you have. So I thought this was like a really clever way. And of course, pet gates. And even shutters that don't close all the way so your pets could just stare out the bottom part. This is really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Dog height. This is another interior company that does uh, like flooring, doors, wall decorations, etc. And they have a whole booklet for cat shelves. <laughs> right now these types of shelves where there are holes in the middle so that cats can jump through are really really popular here. They have a whole bunch of information about um, like spacing sizes and whatnot. I really like how much effort a lot of building companies are putting into um, helping people like design their houses around their pets. This page is eight points about like pet safety. So like they don't want cats going up on the very top and they make sure that like places that you jump down, where, where a cat's gonna jump down, they can't jump into a hole like that. Here, make sure there's no part they can just walk off, off a, a drop. This, make sure they can't jump onto the kitchen counter. Making sure cats can't jump up on top of the air conditioner or onto like a TV or a monitor, or again, like onto a kitchen. Compacto pro, for a smaller room, I think. Mm. Exciting plan for cats. <laughs> Warm, nice sunlight plan. So most of these are just these types of cat shelves. This is again on cat doors. There are tons and tons of different companies now that do cat doors here. We saw the sample uh, showroom. Oh, did we? I don't they remember. Have dog and cat door if you want. No, I don't. Or like a pet design so you can see. I like stuff for our cats. I don't like our stuff to look like cats. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> I feel the same. This is the furniture maker that we bought. I think, I think that's where we got these kitchen shelves from. And now they have a whole section for cat furniture. Uh, and like I was saying, this type of cat furniture is super popular in Japan right now where there's just lots of cutouts for cats. Some of these will have spaces for you to put like a litter box inside. Unfortunately, our cat is a little bit too big. Yeah, our cats are too big for most of these. That's why, that's one of the reasons we haven't really looked at into getting any of this sort of furniture. That's where it work, only for the Pichi over there. Yeah, she's our only little baby kitty. <laughs> not, not for these, especially this one. Look how big he is. He's actually not on the bed. I don't think we're gonna get any cat furniture like this um, because I think we want to be able to use our furniture to store stuff but we'll have cat shelves everywhere and of course like cat beds and all kinds of stuff. And I think we are planning to make some ourselves as well. Yes. And I think I will get cat wheel too. Yeah, didn't you want to make a cat wheel? Mm, I might try to get one and see how it goes. Okay. This is something that I really want to get. Um, so I've actually been looking for something like this for over a year now. We already know that Nagi loves this. So I really, really want a spot in our house where we have a super long rug for Nagi to just run as fast as he can down and go crazy and dig his claws in. I haven't been able to find any that have measurements like this so far. This is 90 centimeters wide and the longest one is five meters. And it comes in a few different colors. If you have a wooden floor in Japan, like they wax it once a year. It's so slippery. A lot of them are like really narrow stairs as well. I don't know how people don't fall down them more often. <laughs> so I want to make sure no one can slip, not just our pets, but us as well. These types of dog barriers are pretty common now. Jin, look at this. This is pretty cool. It's like a ramp that becomes stairs. So you can have it both ways. Oh, uh, for a dog? Yeah. For, yeah, a lot of times like when dogs start getting older or even cats like their joints, you know, just mm. like humans, they get bad and it 
It's hard for them to jump up and down stuff. June, it's a stand for holding your hair dryer. Obviously there's a million more things online that you can just find looking up other companies. If you have any ideas or tips or advice or anything about like our cat health stuff, none of these are set in stone, especially what we're gonna put in between the floors. So if you have any thoughts, please let us know. It's wide enough inside the window boxes for us to put the curtains inside rather than having them out like you normally do. So we might do that to make more room for cat stuff, but I don't know. I just wanna make the best cat house for our cats possible. And thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare, for helping us build our own cat house. <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes where you can learn skills from art to business management or even web design. I personally like the classes about houseplants and photography. One class I'm excited to take is Pet Portraits Capture Studio Quality Photos of Your Pet by Tabitha Park. I already took one of her classes on DIY backdrops. She has a lot of great classes on photography and she makes me want to take photos of stuff. Skillshare is designed to help you learn so there are no ads, and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of our viewers who click the link in the description box will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creative side. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye. Wait, this way.